Hello and welcome to a very wet Austrian Grand Prix here at the A1 ring in Spielberg. We are very deep in the forest and the rain doesn't look it's dissipating for qualifying. 93% chance of uh, rain for qualifying. It's a 0% chance of rain in the race though. It's going to mix up the grid certainly with all the Bridgestone runners going to be performing very well. Was it Michelin? B Bridgestone. Doing very well in the wet, but the Michelins are going to be far behind. As we see, De La Rosa currently on pole position with Hill in second place. Wonder what's going to happen here. Especially with mixed up grid. One panel on Toyota's down in sixth place. Young down in seventh. The two championship protagonists. Young is going to get up to fourth place, though. Which is good for the Malaysians. De La Rosa going to improve. I don't think he did. I didn't spot him improving anyway. We got. It's a very juicy scrap as well in the uh, constructors with Jaguar, Jordan, Arrows, and Minardi, all, and Toyota, not Minardi, uh, all very close together. It's Hill currently on pole position. Hill's managed to beat De La Rosa with 111.1. That's a fantastic time. Buttons in third place at the moment are at a 111.6. The Arrows aren't anywhere to be seen. A 13th at the moment for Ralph Schumacher, 14th, I believe, is Heinz Howard Friends, and I think the Arrows are 2 by 2 here in the very wet Austrian Grand Prix. 2 by 2 like the Noah's Ark. Rumors Barrichello in 11th and Schumacher in 12th in the two Salbers, but it is still Pedro de la Rosa in second place, sandwiched between the two Jordans. With 15 minutes left to go in the session. Fisichella is currently in 4th place, Weber in 5th in the Salber. It's a very good result for Salber at the moment. BAR 6th in 8th place at the moment. With Young in 7th in the Minardi. 9th and 10th is Montoya and Lazy. It's the two championship protagonists of Young and Montoya. Dot doing very well, but it's going to be a Damon Hill pole position for the very hilly Austrian Grand Prix. Hill will do well in the hills. There's the rest of the grid. Sato and Alonso far behind. Coulthard, Bertie, Raikkonen, Verstappen, Frentzen, Schumacher, My Ralph Schumacher that is, Michael Schumacher, Rubens Barrichello, Jean Alesi, Juan Pablo Montoya, Olivier Panis, Alex Jung, Gatsa Mascane, and I missed the rest of them. But it is a very dry Austrian Grand Prix here on May Stay and Sunday. Last season we saw a very action-packed Austrian Grand Prix. Hopefully we expect more of the same and all the hill jokes are indeed going to come out. As we're ready for the grid, we're ready for five lights to go out here in the Austrian Grand Prix and away they go! Everyone looks to have gotten off of the grid apart from one. It looks like a BAR hill has managed to go ahead and Pedro de Rosa tries to... Go in front of him. He's going to have the run down towards turn three. But he's not going to be close enough. There is Button, Weber, Matacane, Panis, Fisichello, Barrichello, Young, Michael Schumacher, a lazy one problem on Toya, Frenson with a very good start, Raikkonen, Ralph Schumacher, Coulthard, and Verstappen, the two McLarens. Bertie Sato, and it's Alonso that didn't get off of the grid, not a BAR. It was a Toyota that didn't get off the grid. I think the Irish actually had a very poor start, I think, actually, uh, 16th, and 15th, 16th, maybe. But Alonso didn't get off the grid, and he is the first retirement of the Austrian Grand Prix. We're on board with Michael Schumacher. What's going to happen here? Looks like one of the arrows blocked. The McLaren Reichen is going to steam straight through it. Oh, and both Ferraris managed to jump so far ahead, going down the inside of turn one. Barrichello's managed to get in front of Young there. They must have gained at least three full positions. Hill's going uphill towards turn three. Is Delaro going to make the move stick on Hill? No, he isn't. Hill gets a better drive off the turn three corner down towards turn four. On his very short, not, it's not a really complex track, but it's a very difficult track to get set up on. And is Della Rosa going to take the lead? Hill's going to have the inside line going around the fast turn five. And Hill keeps the lead. So it's a fantastic scrap between Hill and De La Rosa at the moment. Button in third place in the Jordan. Hill still trying to get past Frenson. We're on board with now Coulthard. Coulthard going to Oh, that's not going to... That's not going to end well. And he is just hit straight into the back of Heinz Howard Frenson. 
that has scuppered Frenson's chances of scoring any points, and it's also scuppered Deddy for chances of David Crawford scoring any points. And that is completely Crawford's fault. He just missed his breaking point, and unfortunately, Frenson is the one to get caught out in it. De La Rosa currently in second place. Hill and Button first and third. The Jordans definitely don't have the dry pace over the Jaguar. So it's a case of trying to keep them behind. Webbers looks like he's got fantastic pace at the moment. Down inside. Not anything doing there. Gaston Mastacane in fifth place in the BAR. Panis sixth. In the other BAR, Fisichello is in 7th, Barrichello in 8th place, in the Ferrari in 9th place, one for Montoya in the Toyota, so it's a very poor start for Montoya, it's got even worse because Jung has just overtaken him, down the inside of turn 2 I think that is, or 3, going down to, downhill towards turn 4, tricky breaking point in this because you're going downhill, Rav Schumacher 14 for the Arrows, and so far no points for the Arrows in this race which, was, which will Hinted their chances of getting a good finish. Frenson is coming out of the pits behind David Coulthard. But he's quite far back now. And he cannot do the one stop either. He's going to have to he's convert it into a two stop. Looks like he didn't have to refuel. Hill going round the second to last corner. Around the final corner. And still Hill leading. De La Rosa second button in third at the moment. Weber fourth is very, very still close still between the top ten. Michael Schumacher eleven, Sean Lazy twelfth, Viking thirteenth, Schumacher fourteenth, Verstappen fifteenth, Bertie sixteenth, Sato seventeenth, and Coulthard and Brenton are in eighteenth and nineteenth place. The only retirement so far, Fernando Alonso in the Toyota. Button tries to go around the outside of De La Rosa. De La Rosa closes the door shut and avoids embarrassment of being overtaken by Button down towards turn four they go the De Rosa are still having a look round hill trying to pass on board with Matsukane in the BAR round turn five and turn six they go and it's now we're on board with seventh is Alex Young eighth Young is doing very well Doing a lot better than Montpellier Montoya. Montoya looks like he's down into 10th spot now. Looks like he's behind, uh, still behind Barry Kello, who had a fantastic start off the line, remember. Round turn 10, the final corner, and down the pitch track. Talk about setup. Uh, like I said, it was ve it's a very hard track to set up because you have five very long straights coupled with a lot of hairpin turns. So. Do you set up to be quick in a straight line or do you set up to do when in the corners? That is the challenge that is facing these F1 teams at the moment. As that was Fisichello putting the pressure onto Young in 8th place. Make it up for last time because Fisichello had a very good qualifying position. Looks like he's not had a very good start. Barricano in ninth. At the moment, Montoya goes wide a little bit. There it looked like in turn five. Turn four, sorry, turn five. Montoya seems to be struggling at the moment. He's not really had the racecraft to overtake this season. He's just led from the front. He's not had to overtake anyone. He had to try to overtake someone in Spain. He just couldn't overtake Button at all. Schumacher in 11 for Lazy 12th. Round turn 10 in the final corner. I think it's turn 9 anyway. Seven, turn 9. A lazy 12th in the Renault. With Riker in 13th. Still holding up Ralph Schumacher slightly. There is Riker and Ralph Schumacher is still behind us. There he is. They've got, they've got the Oscar staff on quite close nick in the McLaren in 15th. 16th. Lucia Alberti at the moment actually there is a yellow flag and that is a Ferrari and a Renault that's Barry Callow and the Renault must be a lazy or it could be Fizzy Keller because the lazy is quite far back what's going to happen here Barry Callow going down towards turn two and he just loses complete control the Renault is a lazy 
It was just that Barrichello's on his own and he's just knocked his rear wing and rear tyre off and he is out of the Austrian Grand Prix. He becomes a second retirement. And there is 15th. 14th is Verstappen. 13th is Rav Schumacher. He's now got a lazy to pass because of lazy having to take avoiding action of the flying Barrichello, shall we say. Mike Schumacher then is promoted into 10th place for the Ferrari. We also promoted 1.12 and that is... Not to go to Michael Schumacher into 10th place because Michael Schumacher is just retired into the gravel trap. He just made a small mistake on the sixth turn. I don't know if it's mechanical or anything, but looks very similar to the Ferrari issue, um, Barrichello issue, and it looks like they're both retired for the same reason. Uh, we're going to get, we will get confirmation from the team about what the retirement was. Anyway, Hill Webber's actually gotten in front of Button at some point during that massacre. Not sure where, but hopefully we see a replay of that because Weber third place in the Salba, which will be their best result for a very long time. They've only really got five points in total, or four, three, three, four or five points in total. Third place will give them eight points, which will propel them up the standings, surely, to a very good position. But they've got De Rosa and Hill to negotiate at the moment. De Rosa looking down the inside of Hill, not going there. De La Rosa, it's a very tight call now. Ain't gonna overtake there. And the gap, 0.209 seconds. Pedro De Rosa, nearly. I, was, I think that was the. I, I don't even know what uh, who got the fastest lap. I missed. I was too busy talking over it. Weber third in the Salba. Doing very well at the moment. Stella Rose is still looking down the inside of the field. It did touch a little bit. Oh, they had to slow down behind. Hill just slightly touched by Della Rosa. And round turn four. Della Rosa still trying to overtake Hill. But Hill's going to have the inside line to turn 5, so... Well, he's not even going to have the inside line. He's going to have the proper racing line. De La Rosa has the inside line now going through turn 5. This is going to be a fantastic overtake. And De La Rosa takes the lead of the Austrian Grand Prix. Finally overtakes Hill and they can just finally move away. Unless Hill can keep up with De La Rosa. I highly doubt it. Yeah, De La Rosa just got carried so much speed through turn 9. It's now Weber's turn to try and pass Hill. As we start lap 8 already, very quick laps here, 1 minute 12 laps, round turn 1, there you go, it's a very tight corner, Matsukane, Panis, Button's lost loads of positions, he's down into 6th place now, Button really struggling at the moment, I'm not sure why, but that's just proven that he's not struggling at the moment, because he's just overtaken Panis with ease, so... Don't know what the problem is. Quite a lot of cars are actually very clo in close nick. 13th is only 10 seconds behind. They're all pretty much in a train. Apart from Raikkonen is just holding all these guys up behind. Ralph Schumacher are lazy and Verstappen. Just no way to overtake at the moment. And that was Frenson with the fastest lap of the race for the Arrows. Quite a shock to be honest. He has Corfal to overtake and he's got a 22 second gap to catch up to Sato with. Is, is, is Frenson going to make the move stick around turn 2, 3? No. And there's De La Rosa. Your race leader. And that is De La Rosa with the fastest lap at the moment. Don't sure what laptop he did. Mark Webber in second place in the Salvo. So he's overtaken Damon Hill. He's took him 8 laps and both of them managed to overtake them so they can just pull away. It's going to be quite a peculiar result if Sauber comes second. It'll be a fantastic result if Sauber comes second. Hill now under pressure for Matsukane. Little touch there. Could give Button the opportunity, but no, the Jordan cannot take advantage of the little touch. Matsukane go, no, he isn't. So, the two Englishmen versus the Argentine. Panis in sixth place. But the BAR team are getting ready for a pit stop for Panis, it looks like. Matsugane 
looking down the inside of Pill. Nothing doing there. Young in seventh in the Minardi. Just behind Young is one problem. One problem. One problem on Toya Panis is the one that's going into the pits. And Vatikani still trying to overtake the Jordan. So this is a bit early to um, pit for the one stop, I believe, unless they feel very heavily. I think they can manage the one stop, but it might bite, the t it might hurt them with the fact that they fueled very lightly at the start. But that's nowhere near long enough for the one stop anyway. So it looks like BIR are adopting the two stop strategy that they've adopted all season. He is in front of just behind Sato and went in front of the French and Coulthard scrap that was caused by Coulthard. Dereza currently leads. Weber second. He's posted the fastest lap of the race so far. They one ring. Third is I have no idea. Matt Takane is in first so he's overtaken Hill and Weber is, made, is going into the pits for his first pit stop. That's the reason why he was overtaken very easily. He was light on fuel. Lap 10. There is a start lap 11 so has Mark Weber. 111.1. .1. They're going incredibly quickly. Changing of all four tyres. Putting fuel in the car. Are Zauber going to do a one stop or a two stop? The answer is a two stop. That's not going to be enough fuel to last to the end. It's going to be a definite two stop for the Sauber team. Where are they? Where's he going to end up? Uh, he's going to end up in very clear air just behind Luciano Berti by about two seconds. He'll catch him up in about a lap. There is Berti. Stopping at 11th. Ralph Schumacher promoted into 10th now. A lazy Riker and he still can't overtake the Salvo. Lazy has a, not even a little look. He's not even alongside Raikkonen. Seventh is currently Fisichella in the Renault. Sixth is one upon one Toya. The Jordans are still struggling at the moment. Hill in fifth. Young in fourth. Button in third. So actually I think Hill might have made a mistake because he's behind quite a few drivers including Button. Matsukane makes a pit stop. On lap 11, he's pretty much running on fumes at the moment. And I presume he's going to adopt the two-stop strategy as well. And Young with the fastest lap of the Austrian Grand Prix. Raikkonen and Lazy. Oh, we can see a little look from Lazy. What's kind of is away, Bertie. Weber is past. It's going to be well past his pan. is going to be in front of that Carne. I don't think he's going to be. I think the Frenchman is going to be behind Matsukana as well being the much more experienced driver. But today going towards turn three. Turn three now is going Mark Weber in the Sauber. Bertie in the Dragua, Josh Verstappen. Tenth for Ashley Mac and ninth for Lazy eighth. Riken in seventh place in the Sauber. All these being held up physically to sixth. Hill fifth and one problem on Toyota is in fourth place in the Toyota. Third place is Young, Button and De La Rosa at the moment. All these, all the cars remaining on track are more than likely one stopping now. I can't see two stops working at this point. You might as well fill her up while you are stationary. Raikkonen, Alesi, Schumacher, 7th, 8th, 9th, Verstappen as well in 10th place, all behind the Kimi train. Young having a little look down the inside of Button, but nothing happens. Bertie, told you whether we'll catch up in two laps, he's already caught up to Bertie, three tenths behind. Back to Kane, 13th, Panish, 14th, 15th is Takuma Sato, 16th is Coulthard. Unless Frenson has finally passed him, and it's Coulthard. No, Frentz is still not past him. Frentz is still behind Coulthard. 17th, 16th, Frentz and Coulthard. Respectively. Number three have retired in the two Ferraris and the Toyota. But it is still De La Rosa leading the Austrian Grand Prix 
with a fastest lap as well. Nine seconds is the gap between De La Rosa and Button. Button holding up Young as well. In fact, that De La Rosa lap has just been beaten by Montoya. He was sitting in fourth place trying to catch up to the Button Young battle. Hopefully, it's a three way battle. Just waiting for. And Toyo in fourth place, just waiting for these four drivers to pit, and then the order should shake out a little bit more. Especially if people try the undercut or the overcut. The overcut on this track isn't actually that big. You get more of an undercut than an overcut because of the lack of corners. Fisichella in sixth place, and a Renault trying to overtake Hill, but Hill keeps his line. Raikkonen in 7th, the Lazy 8th and Ralph Schumacher struggling to overtake. He's usually quite good at overtaking but struggling at last to overtake the Sauber and Renault at the moment. 10th, Jos Verstappen in the McLaren 9th, 11th sorry, Luciano Berti in the Jaguar 12th. Mark Webber still trying to overtake the Jaguar but... Weber can't pass the jig. Down to turn nine. Down the back, the pitch straight. On towards lap 15, there is 11 laps to go at the moment. Round turn one. That's kind of 13th. Go around turn one as well. 14th is Olivier Panis. So that's your 15th, Crawford 16, French and 17th. And has um, Coulthard has nothing to go back on. That was completely his fault. The three retirements so far. Barrichello in 18th. Michael Schumacher in 19th. And Fernando Alonso in 20th place. As De La Rosa leads the Austrian Grand Prix by about 11 seconds. There is Button. Go past the finish line. Now the answer is 10.4. Sounds like Sauber are ready for the pit. It's going to be from McLaren, uh, Raikkonen. McLaren already. It's probably going to be from Verstappen. It's going to free the friends and tr the Kimi train that's secured. Leasing friends and a lazy into the world of Formula 1. Round 10. Free! One problem on Toyota. Fourth in the Toyota at the moment. He's got a 9 second lead over Damon Hill. who's very, very slow. It's the reason why the whole pack was bunched up because Hill did a very good qualifying. And then was completely slow for the race. Round turn three. Fisichella has actually overtaken the hill it looks like. Fifth place. Turn seven. Very flat. Up the hill they go. Look, Button and Young getting ready to go into the pit. So both former race, well, Young hasn't been a former race leader. Young has, but has. They're both won races. Who will win this race between him or not? I forgot his name. Uh, button, Button, Button. Still rough ruling. Ralph Schumacher passes. Button is about to come out in front of Young. Yes, he does. So that's probably going to be Young set for position and then. That's Weber. Ever, no, Weber doesn't overtake. That is actually crucial. Because Weber was second coming into these pit stops and he's been overtaken by Young and Button and he has to make another stop. So some of the lowly stragglers would keep a close eye out on the guy because he might not make it to the end Weber same with the BAR drivers I have a slight hunch that they're not going to get to the end so as De Rosa seems to smash every single fastest lap 107.4 was that fastest lap and but oh no it's, it's Jaguar versus Jaguar again we had all this in Spain we don't need fighting Jaguar guys please Irvine let him through Come on, let him through, let him through your number one. Oh, Bertie, you're treading on thin skin there. Just, just go for the overtake, go on. 
No, but he still blocks. Round turn, the rest of turn four. Turn five, but Betty still has not yielded the position. In turn six, still not going to be a yielding position, of course not. Turn seven, eight, and nine, all nine to three corners, pretty much. Jaguar, uh, Pedro Torres have finally laps Liberty, but he's pitting himself on lap 18 for his one and only fuel stop. And there we are. So limited to 80 kilometers per hour. Into the pits. Change of four tyres. Is Jaguar about to go out? The answer is still refueling. Still refueling. Away goes Della Rosa. 9.9 .9 second pissed off for the Jaguar team. That is fairly good. Round the first corner goes that corner. Montoya is in second place at the moment. He's going to keep in second place. That's a fantastic. Oh, no one else has pitted. Paul Ralph Schumacher, I think Ralph Schumacher might have pitted. Button coming above and right, right young. So, yeah, Ralph Schumacher has pitted from what was third place, it looks like. Button currently in third. Fourth is Alex Young, fifth place. Mark Webber, you need to see Mark Webber there directly behind Alex Young. Fifth place, Webber, but he still needs to make a pit stop. So does both the BARs behind him, Mazzucane and Panis. On board with Fizzy Keller, Jos Verstappen currently in eighth place at the moment. We're on board with Damon Hill, what is going to happen here? He's going to slow down for the pit lane. He's going to pin, pin him. Oh, oh, oh! Well, that was a uh, that was a bit cheeky from Ralph Schumacher. He didn't even need to turn in at that point, which is a rather peculiar. So Ralph Schumacher has just taken Damon Hill out in pit lane. He didn't even need to touch him or get close to him at any point anyway in the pit stop, but he's managed to do it and managed to take him out. Weber's currently in fifth place in the Sauber. Fourth is Young, third, Button, second, Montoya. He seems to always get the best out of his cars, especially after poor qualifying. And Pedro Rosa currently leads. Sauber and BAR are ready for the pits. There's going to be a warfare between the two teams. I reckon it's going to be Mark. And Gaston. I think Gaston was the first one to pit out of him in Paris. I could very well be wrong though. I probably am wrong. There's Young trying to make his way past the button. I don't think the Young button is going to work. Especially around turn two. Still got seven and a half laps. Six and a half laps. Yeah, sorry. Um, button down turn three. Being chased by Minardi at the moment. Around the corner and nothing doing there. Still, very physical in fifth place is actually a very good result at the moment. Um, sixth is Josh Verstappen. Seventh is Ralph Schumacher. So it's going to be four World Championship points at the moment for the Arrows. Five for McLaren at the moment. Weber still in the points, three seconds behind. No, eight seconds behind, sorry. Gets a Matsukane, not Gatsukane. It's nine from Michael Schumacher's intent. He's probably nick your cookies. That lazy to be watched out. Um, 11th is John Lazy at the moment in the uh, bright blue Renault. Frenson is in 12th place. He's already made one pit stop today. He's stuck behind a lazy, just like his teammate. He's going to be a second pit stop. For arrows, they just, just can't just make them last anymore. Betty 14th, Golf 1 15th, that is the aim for the arrows driver to get how to head off. He's got De Rosa for company Hasato. De Rosa putting a lap on the Malam Japanese, Japanese, Japanese driver. 
The Malaysians in the other car being won currently. But one problem, Montoya, who is currently lead uh, second place, sorry, in the race at first in standings. I don't know what the scores are, and I don't, I don't particularly want to get them up to anything either. Alonso currently leads. He dips patches of Sato. Young in third place is going to have to dispatch of the solo as we're on board with Young on button. Is Young going to make the overtake? Not quite. What about coming to the second corner? We can see where everyone nearby. Uh, down turn was so full. Pretty long straight from the back of the garage. There's a very good scrap going on here at the moment between Button and Young. So far, but Young has come out on top, but I saw Button win once the fight, but I don't think it's going to be a fight much longer. No, he pulled away. Young is in third, while Pablo Montoya is in second, and De La Rosa is going in first place at the moment. As we are five laps to go of this Austrian Grand Prix. It's been, it's been very close battling, but not really as exciting as it was last season. Last season it was very, very close. And that... That's that's a that's a box of neutrals. That's a box of neutrals for one problem one toy. He's out. He's out of the Austrian Grand Prix. You just you just couldn't make it up. You just uh, I Montoya out of the Austrian Grand Prix. That's unbelievable. We're hearing suspension failure for Montoya. That's quite a lot of French is behind Crawford again. Of course he is. Fenton, the guilty party in all the in the crash, pretty much punished with front wing damage, having to force the pit stay behind Coulthard. Coulthard's completely entirely in fault. Fiscal in fourth, Fenton fifth, Ralph Schumacher in sixth. So at the moment, with Toyota not scoring any points. Jordan scoring 8 points, Jaguar scoring 10 points and Arrows is currently scoring 5 points. It's going to be very close for the constructors still We're going towards the final 3 laps of this race with Pedro de la Rosa. Trying to get close to the battle between Hans and Friends and Coulthard. Friends still can I overtake Coulthard to save his life. Luckily, he'll have one less lap to do it in because he's about to get lapped by Pedro de Rosa, the Spaniard. Currently leading three laps to go. Round turn two. Is Friends going to let by Pedro de Rosa? Yes. Is he? Yes, he is. Very, very sensible there by Frenson. Young has now got his teammates to worry about. Button in third place at the moment in Jordan. Down towards turn four. Fiskello is in fourth place. It's a very good result so far for Renault at the moment. Verstappen fifth. Still has Ralph Schumacher for company, but I don't think Ralph Schumacher is going to trouble him at all. Hasn't troubled him all race. Weber seventh in the Sauber. And Matt Zagane is in 8th place in the BAR, 9th place Raikkonen and 10th place Jean Lazy, who has Panis for company at the moment. 11th Panis. Round turn 3. 12th is Bertie, so unless it's two retirements, Bertie's not going to score any points again. But Deleuze is actually an out dark horse for this Drivers' Championship. I reckon that he could... Uh, Especially with Montoya retiring, I reckon he can uh, win. I'm going to put it out there. Pedro de Rez is looking quite nice for his second world championship. But he's got Montoya to worry about in that. There's a very juicy scrap going on in front, by the way. 
I was talking all over that juicy grub between, I think that was 10th and 9th place. Coulthard in 13th, Frenton is still in 14th. Frenton has the pace, but she's not been able to overtake Coulthard at all. Sato in 15th. They're not last, it's Coulthard and Frenton, but they are nearly, nearly last. As we go on board with De La Rosa around the final two corners, he's about to start his final lap. He has a 9 second lead over Alex Young, it's nearly 10 now. 10 second lead over Alex Young. Up to the first, round the first corner. We're going to have a full lap with De La Rosa, are we? I'm not too sure. Young with the first lap of the race on lap 25 of 26. Not going to be close enough to pass to catch up with De La Rosa though, unless De La Rosa does a 1 minute 20 or something. That was turn three, tight scored on the circuit. This is turn four, very hard braking point because you're braking downhill towards the corner, braking at the 50 meter mark, 120 kilometers an hour. It's a very long radius corner. Turn five is quite quick. Down, taking turn, uh, give three, 180 kilometers an hour. Small burst of the accelerator. Turn six, seven doesn't really matter. Very quick. Turn 8 is a very quick corner. Get it wrong though and you're in the gravel trap. And turn 9 for the final time. De La Rosa is going to win the Austrian Grand Prix. Congratulations to Pedro De La Rosa. There are the two lappers. Young finishes in second place. 7.5 seconds behind De La Rosa and Button. Button finishes third place. And we're going to wait for the rest of the point scorers. De Fisichella, fourth place. His first up and is definitely going to keep hold of fifth place on Ralph Schumacher. There goes Verstappen, finishing in fifth place, sixth place. Ralph Schumacher, seventh place. Weber, he scored as many points as Sauber have all week season. Well done to Weber. Eighth place is Matsukane. Ninth place is Raikkonen. He's got a cut lazy for company. But it's going to be a double point score for Sauber. Congratulations to the Sauber team. And there we are. There is your... And De La Rosa has not even managed... didn't even manage to get back to the pits. He's just stopped in the middle of the circuit. I'm not sure why. Definitely has not run out of fuel. He's come to stop with a bunch of neutrals. Alonso, Schumacher, Barry Kello, Hill... Pom Pablo Montoya, those are all your retirement. Sato in 15. Uh, so the leader's not even going to get to Park Fair May, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. And there's your race winner, Alex Young. No. Pedro de Rosa is going to be your race winner, despite the fact he's come to a stop on the slowdown lap. De La Rosa wins. 7.5 seconds was the gap in the end between De La Rosa and Young. Button in third place, Fiskella fourth. Verstappen in fifth, and Schumacher and Ralph. In uh, sixth place in the arrows. Seventh was Weber. Eighth was Matsukane. Ninth, Raikkonen. Tenth, Lazy. Eleventh, Panis. Twelfth, Bertie. Thirteenth, Coulthard. De La Rosa pretty much controlled the race from the front after getting past Hill. Very commanding result. Alex Young in second place. He did the what, fastest lap of the race. The one minute 6.3. Button third in the Jordan 107. Fourth, Giancarlo Fisichella in the Renault. Fifth place, Joss Verstappen in the McLaren. One minute, 8.6 was his fastest lap. Ralph Schumacher in the Arrows, very close behind Joss Verstappen. There are also reports that Arrows are struggling money-wise. Let's hope that is not true because we love the Arrows and we want to see them on the grid. We missed Weber and Matsukane um, and Raikkonen. Lazy in 10th place. Panis is in 11th. Oh, sorry, Lazy. I, I, we, we, we missed the Lazy. Panis. 11th, 12th place is Luciano Berti in the Jaguar. 13th, David Coulthard. 14th is uh, Heinz Hold Frenson. Very, very unfortunate because he got taken out by Coulthard. Turns out the McLarens are just a ticking time bomb when it comes to accidents. Montoya. Very commanding in second place, but just 
retired with a suspension failure, I believe. Hill retired after a freak accident with Schumacher and then both Ferraris as well as Alonso. Thank you so much for watching the Austrian Grand Prix. I don't remember where the next track is. I think it's Australia. I think I remember it's Australia or Sepang. Basically, we're not being we're not in Europe at the moment. So thank you for watching and goodbye.